What is it about the brain that allows us to actually create a culture? How do we go about creating all those artifacts of culture that we take for granted? So books, theater, movies, music, aesthetics, arts. This is the kind of question that we'll pursue in this course. I think Neurohumanities in Paris provides a really unique opportunity to bring together a terrific group of students together with some world-class thinkers and scholars from the field of the humanities with expertise in French literature, especially from the late 19th century, early 20th century, in a fabulous place, Paris, France, together with cognitive neuroscientists who are interested in understanding uh, how we think. This is the first global ed neurohumanities program uh, that any of us are aware of anywhere in the world. Um, we have four different neuroscience faculty members and two humanities professors, so it's a remarkable concentration of um, different faculty input. And uh, the fact that it is in Paris and relates to the history of neuroscience in France allows us to explore these questions in a very particular cultural context. Students who have a background in neuroscience might find this particularly interesting because it gives them an opportunity to apply what they've learned about the brain to understanding human culture. And those students who have a strong background in the humanities but want to reach out and, and, and see what uh, is happening in neuroscience and how that might impact their own thinking about their own discipline would also be really ideally suited for this course. Having a strong interest in art and literature is important. The student who can ask, for example, why evolution might have prompted the development of skills with metaphor, um, why we uh, represent faces and recognize faces in the visual arts, is the kind of student who will find this particularly fascinating. And what better place than Paris to explore the collision of cognitive science, culture, and literature.